And what, what trends is important. And what you have to understand is you have to stay current in the marketplace because if you don't, you lose. You have to stay current. How do you stay current in the marketplace? One of the first things that you need to do is you need to look around. You need to see what pronoun builders are doing. So let's say you are flipping homes. You know, I'm not a home flipper anymore. I haven't done that stuff in years. But if you're flipping homes, you're wholesaling homes, you're, you're doing Airbnbs, whatever it is, you want to take a look at the interior designs because people want a modern feel. Think about it yourself. When you travel, you go to a hotel and you uh, rent a hotel. You know, those, uh, like home twos, home ta- hotels now and, uh, by Sheraton and all those new modern ones, they kind of have that modern feel to them because they have that good feel that make me feel good feeling to them when you walk into them because it's modern, it feels new, it feels crisp and it's state of the art, right? So you feel like it's hip. And so people in the same regards think the same way about what, where they live and what they're buying. And what they're leasing and where they're parking their business and where they're living, if it's single family or multifamily, doesn't matter. So look, if you're getting involved in real estate, you need to understand that you have to stay current in the market. Why? Because it's, if you, if you stay, if you shop and study the market and you steal ideas and you stay cutting edge, cutting edge sells. Okay. But look, you don't have to be the best at all of this stuff. You just have to understand how to copy what other people are doing and steal their ideas. Okay. This is probably one of the most important things right here. What were you guys taught in school? Don't copy. Don't copy. Get in trouble. Let me tell you something in business and in real estate, you want to copy and you want to steal ideas from the people that are already paying the professional architects and know what's trending. They're doing market studies and they know what's trending. You know, there's, there's sometimes that, there's times in the 80s when gold fixtures were real popular. Guess what's coming back right now? As silly as it might sound, gold fixtures, right? But oil rub bronze has been popular for a long time. But now a lot of the brush nickel and the contemporary looks are real popular. How do I know that? Well, let's take a look. You know, let's, I, I pick up magazines. We take these from, we, we take these from, um, from stores and hotels that are, that are trending. And we'll just open these things up. And if you open them up, they're real simple to see. You saw me do another quick video, you know, and you look at what's trending from this stuff. You look at the architecture, the furnishing of everything. If you guys are, are buying multifamily, you guys are buying hotels and stuff, all you need to do is go down to a, one of the most expensive hotels. Go into like the W, go into the Ritz-Carlton, go into a modernly built or renovated hotel and look at what they paid interior decorators to do. Steal their shit and just do it. That's all you need to do. Look at the, this, this kitchen. Look how awesome this is. I'll look at the backdrops of this tile right here. And I just, I love the way that looks in the blue cabinets. But see, most people won't ever look outside of the box, right? They won't look and go, well, I'm going to mix brown wood with blue cabinets with stainless steel and granite. And how do you make all this work? Well, it's simple. You just look and steal something that you like. And I mean, that's a cool looking kitchen. And I would duplicate that in a house that we're building in one of our developments. You know, you look at this stuff, this Tuscan look, Mediterranean, I still love it. It, To me, it never gets old. That old world look is still just gorgeous to me. But what's gorgeous to me may not be gorgeous to other people. But I still love that old world Tuscan rustic look. It just never gets old to me. But it does trend because right below it, what do you see? You see big open glass. Tile surrounds around the mirrors and backdrops. And you look at this oil rub bronze, but more of a modern fixture, right? So you want to shop and you want to study this stuff. How do you do that? You just go into marketplaces where that, that are trending. You know, you go into big cities. You go into New York. You go into uh, Miami where there's cranes and there's buildings going up all the time. You go into hotels in Los Angeles, Beverly Hills. You go into Las Vegas, Nevada where they're remodeling casinos every single 10 years. Every 10 years they're remodeling them. And you just go in and you see what the big dogs are doing in there. And where they're spending billions of dollars on renovations. They are setting the trends for us, but until you get out and you shop and study the market, you pick up magazines and you do it regularly, you want to stay cutting edge on what's selling because cutting edge, it sells. Cutting edge sells. And look, what ends up happening is people end up getting stuck, right? So 
you start building it. And this happened to us. So before the recession, you know, that uh, the Tusk and Mediterranean field was just coming in big back in the in the early 2000s. And so we were building it. Well, when the recession hit, there was like this lag period that just evolved. And as that t- that lag period sat, what you got to understand is that times changed. Things evolved around us. And so as that happened, that Tuscan fill was still popular, but not as popular. The modern contemporary fill started coming in. And so that's where all these modern designs started coming into play. Is this going to be popular forever? No. But it is right now. And so if you stay open-minded to change, and you don't get stubborn in your ways and say, what I'm doing works. And I'm not going to change it for nobody because this is what's worked for me. Those words will make you go broke at some point in time if you don't stay open-minded to market changes. So you always have to be staying current. Every single property we build and develop over the years, every single renovation has been different. Why? Because I'm always looking for something new. So I'll pick up every time we're starting new projects, I go back and I pick up more new magazines. Why? Because I want to see how they built their shelves. I want to see how they laid out a master bathroom that looks like a friggin' kitchen right here because it's so awesome the way they laid this thing out, the lighting, the floating cabinets are super cool. We're doing this in one of our houses right now. You know, the modern bathtubs, the tile backsplashes up the walls, all the glass surrounds. Those snail showers used to be real popular 10, 15 years ago. They're not no more. All this open glass, wide open, is what sells. It makes the bathrooms look larger. They're bigger, more contemporary, more brisk corners. They're gorgeous. So when you look at it, look at another one, same thing. Look at that. looks like it's all one piece, but there's a shower integrated to the bathtub and the sinks. And look how sweet that looks. But how many people would think to do a mixture of two different tiles on the floor of a bathroom. But when I look at stuff and I look and I'm shopping, I'm staying current and I look at this type of stuff, how cool would that be in someone's house? And you know what? It doesn't cost you any more to do this than do everything in travertine or everything in a different ceramic. It costs the exact same amount. All you have to do is educate your tile setters and they'll charge you the same amount to do this as they would to do it all in one piece. And if it costs you a small margin more, You'll get it back by staying open-minded because cutting edge sells. That's why. And so I just want to show you guys some of the trending stuff, you know, Um, as we look at this, some of the pavers and stuff. And some of these are cost prohibitive in some of the projects. But when you look at stuff, you can go back in and some of this stuff is not cost prohibitive. You can go in and do a lot of this stuff is just noticing some of the simple fixtures, the light bulbs. You know, the lighting bulbs that are that they're utilizing for fixtures, the way they're setting in these little shelves on the side of the fireplaces. As you see this stuff trend and you go through this, this is how we shop. This is how we build out our properties. Just like this, just by running through this stuff. Why do I share that with you guys? Because it's important. You know, one of the biggest things that people get confused with is the fact that they get stuck and they, they get confused with how to make those changes. Those changes are real easy to make. The thing is that most people lack the confidence to make those decisions, decisions and changes themselves. So what I'm telling you is don't make those decisions. Don't make those changes yourself. Find other people that are doing it already. Allow them to make those changes before you. If the market is adapting to it and it's trending, duplicate, copy, and steal their ideas. Stay cutting edge. Sell more properties, and at the end of the day, you make more money. And that's really what it's all about. Continue to shop. Continue to study your market. Don't be afraid. You know, the biggest thing is that people lack in in taking action. You can take action yourself. Cut out the middlemen. Go in, shop smart, stay cutting edge, and profit. That's what it's all about. Go out there and compound your success.